Hey guys, and welcome back to a Random Fact Monday with Dave and Wemmy. I don't know why she's mouthing the words, but I guess she just knows them that well. Um, today, since we were actually, uh, you know, we've been working all day, working all day, and we're going to take some time and relax with each other, spend some quality time, and then we're like, oh no, we're going to record a Random Fact Monday, just for you guys. So, no worries to the rest of you, we're doing that, and... What we were going to do, we were going to watch a movie. So, we were going to watch it on what? Netflix. Netflix. So, why not share some Netflix facts? Mm -hmm. So, Netflix is, uh, is pretty crazy. Let's just uh, toss that out there. It is, in fact, older than Google. Which makes it feel like it's older than the internet. It's not, but it's that's not. okay. But still, uh, Netflix was founded in 1997. Google was founded in 1998. And uh, Netflix actually started as uh, because the CEO one day was returning a VHS of Apollo 13 and got charged a $40 late fee and was like, no, nope, no more, Great. no more. Great. And so it was a uh, subscription-based mail-in service to start with. So they never charged late fees, so it was you keep it as long as you want, but you can't get another one until you return it. Right. Based on your account, because you could have an account you could get two one at a time, two at a time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All that, and and that still exists. Still, five point five million people still do that. People wow. still doing that, which makes sense because rural America. And, That's you know, true. Rural not America. having the same internet access. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So cool. let's share some other facts. Um, so the actual the year the digital distribution launch was nineteen ninety nine. So nineteen ninety seven. So they started the you know, what Netflix is known today as, in 1999. Probably a little bit different. Yeah. And, but it actually probably wasn't that, that much like different. streaming in 99? It wasn't, it wouldn't have been streaming. It would have been downloaded, download, essentially. Yeah. But that's not that crazy. It just didn't catch on until, yeah. uh, until, you know, enough people. But then, in, the, in 2002 was their IPO. So it wasn't that because yeah. by then they would have had some traction. They like, broke well, yeah. yeah. For you to release an IPO, you must be doing well. Exactly, yeah. Good for them. So they're up to 60 million subscribers, 40 of which are in the U.S. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me, and 20 of which outside, obviously. obviously. Yeah. Um, actually, speaking of that, it's crazy. I just saw in mind that, um, where is it? Where is it? No, no, no. No. Oh, yeah. It's the single largest contributor to internet traffic in many countries. Yeah, absolutely. In the States, it amounts to almost one-third of internet traffic during prime time. Oh, only during prime time. Yeah. I, I would have thought it's still been more. I'm, and I'm that's why they say time of day affects video quality, with the worst time being 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Makes sense. Everyone's watching movies then. I'm surprised that it's only one-third. Yeah. Yeah, because if you think about actually, I guess YouTube is yeah, probably YouTube probably takes a, a, chunk. a big chunk. Big chunk, yeah. Because like all the web, like Facebook, pff, zero. It doesn't or, take like, anything. Yeah, it doesn't take nearly as much. Not that it's zero. A lot of people yeah. are on Facebook all the time, but yeah. Um, the uh, this is a crazy one. So the number of hours per month that users spend watching Netflix, ten billion, with a B, ten <laughs> billion hours a month. For all the Netflix users, so it's like yeah, so 60 million years. It it actually just scales down, not not too crazily, because it'd just be like. Uh, well, the, I have here yeah. um, an average Netflix subscriber streams go. 90 minutes a day. There you go, 90 minutes a day. Oh my God, that's average. Holy, 90 minutes a day. That's like a movie every day. Yep. Or like. It's usually probably shows, shows more. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's crazy. We don't use our Netflix at all. Apparently. Compared to that, yeah. Well, I guess you do. Yeah. I watch those. And now, actually, that's interesting. So are we considered one Netflix user? We are. Yeah, they actually, I had oh. one stat about that. Okay. Um, that there's a record 57.4 million unique Netflix subs subscribers online. How many, sorry? 57.4 million okay. unique subscribers as of January 2015. Yep. But since one subscription allows several people to watch Netflix, the number of actual users is much bigger. Sure. So, so you don't have a number. I don't have a number because okay. they probably, yeah, yeah that's it's probably fair. a lot harder to, to keep that. That's fair. But yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, I have one here <coughs> that apparently, yeah, right? <coughs> you know Dave's I'm not. sick. 
Um. Hmm. You have on here. You have to read it out loud so everyone. The start and pay at the most entry level position, such as call center for Netflix, is eighteen dollars per hour, plus a free subscription. Cool. So that's pretty good. That's nice of them. It's like a pretty decent wage. It's like that's like thirty six thousand a year. Yeah. It's, like for for that to be like minimum for a call center, I think. Did you hear? Well, I, the only reason I don't think it's that good is we just saw on uh, uh, CP twenty four the guy and. Um, don't know. He's based in Seattle, and he just uh, made a uh, announcement to his company that minimum is seventy uh, k. Everybody is his company, yeah. And so you know, people were crying, and yeah. So that, that can was I go cool. work for him? Yeah, because they just had an IPO uh, a couple of months before that, and it was obviously successful. And so yeah, so that was one of the big perks. And it was funny because the way he brought it up was just uh, regular um, kind of like a business announcement kind of thing. It was like you know we're gonna get new cleaners for the washrooms because we got to get that and everybody's going to have at least, make at least 70k and we and he just kind of keeps going and <laughs> then we're like, like whoa, whoa, whoa what did you repeat that yeah yeah it's pretty cool man that would be awesome hope I come our company's taking notes <coughs> back to Netflix <laughs> so uh this one's funny to us is the percentage of Canadian Netflix users that pretend to be from the U.S. for more content 29 percent so Good job, guys. Huh. Yeah, I'm just glad that you know 30% of the people know that you can do that and get a get a little bit more content. It's also funny that Netflix knows we're doing that. Yeah. Uh, one of the world's most wanted jobs is offered by Netflix. <laughs> I'm sure you can guess what it is. What is it? Oh, it's, movie watcher. Yeah, paying you to stay at home and watch the content they purchased or produced, and all you have to do is tag it yep. with a pool of a thousand keywords. Only a thousand? Only a thousand. Interesting. Yep, the process is called Netflix Quantum Theory. Hmm. Cool. Yeah. Glad it has a name for it. Yeah. So yeah, so the DVD mailers by mail members yep. is still 5.5 million. And it Netflix is in 50 countries, which is cool. Can we go into the DVD mailers? Okay. Sorry, I'm literally yeah. like, it's crazy, I'm no. getting... Okay, so apparently in the United States where the company, like where they offer flat rate DVD mail service, as we just said, Netflix employees are sworn to secrecy on the location of the DVD warehouse huh. to avoid people dropping off DVDs at the location or trying to rob the place. Same goes for Netflix trucks which go undercover. That's crazy! Huh. Who would have thought it was that serious? Yeah. Man, and like, the funny one is like, the, you know, getting robbed, it's like... I, I guess, but it's like, is that really going to be... Because that's for, like, the physical DVD. It's not like yeah. it's the digital content. Yeah. yeah, you wouldn't think that would be that crazy of a... Like, you know, a jewelry store, you'd think, would be much more... More lucrative yeah, than Robin... Than getting yeah. a, a gigantic stack of DVDs. But I guess, you know what, they're probably all on spindles. So it's like, they're not in, like, the big, the big jewel cases. So you probably are getting quite a few. It wouldn't take much... Which also is like, how big of a warehouse is needed? Like, is it one of those, like, Amazon ones? <laughs> yeah. Like, if that was full and of And then DVDs? the truck is undercover? Yeah. It's like, that's crazy. Yeah. And, like, what truck? Like, it, does, isn't it, like, U.S. Postal Service? Maybe not. Maybe because maybe not. if U.S. Postal Service knows where they are, that's a problem. So maybe U.S. Postal Maybe there's, like, a drop. It, it could somewhere. have a drop location, yeah. But then can't they drop. just follow them from the drop location? But that's only if they know who they are. I like, guess they'd have yeah. like a fake company name yeah, or something. Yeah, they'd just be like, I'm shipping this stuff. Yeah. Cool. But yeah, and like, you could follow. I'm sure it wouldn't take much to, to figure it out, but it just is an extra burden. Hmm. Um, the uh, number of Emmys uh, nominations for Netflix to date is uh, 45, and number of Golden Globe, 10, and number of Academy Award nominations, 2. And primetime Emmys three. Oh, huh. primetime Emmys one, by House of Cards in two thousand thirteen. I should read the whole stat. <laughs> you should. Wow, good for you, House of Cards. Um, I haven't watched that yet. So get these two things. Okay. A Netflix inspector sorts about six hundred and fifty DVDs per hour. So there's a lot of DVDs at that warehouse. Wow, yeah. That's what that tells me. Yeah. Um, so is that a person or a machine? I hope that's. A I machine. don't know. How yeah. many? Six hundred and fifty. 
DVDs per, per hour. hour. <coughs> that might be a person. Yeah. <coughs> um, and apparently Netflix, the reason they use rectangular envelopes instead of square ones is because U USPS charges more for square ones and the difference would amount to about $225 million more. Wow. You know, with the square option, that's that, crazy. That is crazy. This one's interesting to all those cable providers out there. Uh, percentage of Netflix subscribers that also paid for TV in 2010, 88%. Pretty hot. Okay. In 2014, 80%. Hmm. Which is interesting. So people drop in their cable They're because cable cable's bull. Except Go ahead, for sports. Have Go ahead. I'm it's useless. So pointless. Give people what they want. Come on. You gotta explain your rent. You can't just rent without a reason. The big cable providers overcharge for content that is uh, provide that is also funded by advertisements, and it's you know the it's it's just it's it's not a good model. Like, Netflix has such a much better model, and, and even then, it's like, Netflix isn't even the greatest model. Like, they're still, you know, you pay for stuff, and you might get good stuff, you might not. Mm -hmm. But, like, where's the a la carte? A lot of people wanna, want to pay for the stuff that they want and nothing else. Like me, I want to pay for sports, and then nothing else. <laughs> but you guys don't do that. I have to pay for the super package. I'm sick, so I can't this really think properly. This is how David properly, feels about cable. It's very frustrating. <laughs> very frustrating. Kojiko. Um, I'm not sure if you shared the blockbuster fact. Uh, no. No, okay. So, in 2000, Netflix was offered to Blockbuster for $50 million. And guess what Blockbuster said? No, thank you. We're good. We're rich. We're a Blockbuster. And, um, yeah. Blockbuster is now dead, as we all know. Ugh. And uh, Netflix is currently worth twenty billion dollars. Twenty with a B. So Blockbuster should have probably rethought that. It's funny because I remember having this <coughs> conversation like five years ago with someone that you know why didn't Blockbuster like jump on the Netflix and why didn't they start their own online subscription service when Netflix like started to gain a little traction? Mm -hmm. Because they had I think they had a small window where they could have started a thing. And they could have stayed alive. That that's tough to call though, because it's like you say when they had a little traction. When do you know that? And like they would know still, that because they you do re research on your competitors, it's so they still, would know. It's still very hard to say that. Oh yeah, they knew. Because if they actually knew, they would have done something. But you, it's hard to say that. Even like they, a trial, they, like let's just launch this silent service. Let's not market it. Let's just launch it silently in a, in certain areas and test it out. But you have to build it. That costs money. Like I decisions guess. have to be made. So it's it's basically they're like having their board meeting and it's like, hey guys, there's Netflix. Uh, you know, are we a worried about them? A smart kid said, there's Netflix. We should be worried about no, them. And, and then all the other guys day, are like, nah. Yeah, and either day one it was we're not worried about them or. By the time they said, "Yeah, we're worried about them," they were too big, and they couldn't. They, they couldn't. couldn't compete. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like it's not. It's not as easy as people. You know, like, what is it? Hindsight's always twenty twenty. But it's like a service like Hulu exists, and they're competing with TV shows for Netflix. Okay. And like they're doing, and they're getting bigger. So yeah. it's just like Blockbuster could have found something. Hulu is around. Sure, Hulu's been around for a while though too. Before Blockbuster went under? Maybe not before. Well, maybe. I, I don't know. And, and it's also, that's different people. Like, it, the Blockbuster might not have had the people. Like, because that's the thing. They were a video rental company. Like, it's not like they had a bunch of software developers to build a service to, you know. You should have hired Dave. Well, yeah, but they didn't. They didn't. Those silly guys. Yeah. Like, it's just, there's a lot. It's, I, it's easier I to get you. That. I get you. Um... I got a uh, two-part for the techie side, right. is how much storage Netflix potentially would need for all of its uh, movies and stuff, and it's between 100 and 150 terabytes. And most people might have, like, you know, uh, actually, is that right? Yeah, maybe. Might have, what? Because uh, I was saying most people might have, like, a terabyte or two at home. It's 1,024 terabytes. Is what 1,000 terabytes. Wait. It's Netflix an equivalent of one thousand and twenty-four terabytes. So, so maybe it was one to one hundred, uh, one hundred to one hundred and fifty petabytes. Okay. 
Okay. Sorry, which is a thousand. A petabyte is a thousand terabytes, and most people have like you know might have a terabyte or two or three at home in their computer or something. M most people or some people probably don't even have that. Have yeah. like have uh, like five hundred gigs or whatever. But anyway, they get a lot of data. It's crazy, ton. But the other thing was um, Netflix lost two hundred and eighteen database servers when uh, uh, Amazon uh, hosts a bunch of their network infrastructure, and they had to reboot. And so they've rebooted. And 218 database servers went down, just poof, blew up. Netflix didn't go down, hmm. which says a lot for both Netflix and, and for Amazon. Amazon you know, yeah. they, they Amazon pooched a big one there when they <laughs> when they rebooted, but but uh, to still stay online, that was that's pretty good. Cool. Yeah. And anything else for us? Oh, more than a petabyte. Yeah. So. I'm gonna take back the fact about the size being hundreds of petabytes. Yeah, I thought I it thought might it just said be one. about a petabyte, which yeah. is still a thousand gigabytes. Yeah, thousand, or a thousand, a thousand terabytes. terabytes. Sorry. Yeah, Jeez. Sorry. sorry, I'm sick. Ah, huh. cool. Huh? Interesting. In order to maintain its success, Netflix monitors other websites to decide on their next purchases. One of the websites they monitor <laughs> is BitTurrent. <coughs> so that's kind of interesting. <coughs> So they're, they're monitoring the illegal sites to decide to figure out what, they, what they should buy legally. That's funny because the number of times Netflix content was Ill illegally downloaded in, Q in uh, the second quarter of 2014, 62.6 .6 million. Really? Yeah. It's like, so, like, what does it mean to download illegally? Is it, like, download and save? I, I would or assume it, so, yeah. Or is it to, like, hack in and not? I would assume actually download the content hmm. and keep it on your personal drive. Who does that? It's on Netflix. It's no yeah. Point anyway. yeah. yeah. You're already getting it. <laughs> well, I guess they do to take keep. things off. Yeah. But and people yeah. like to keep it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Huh. That's cool. Cool. Any, so I have a question else? people out there. Who sure. out there actually still buys DVDs and like keep a DVD library? I do. I'm just curious what everybody else does. I do. If I have really, really, really like a movie. I do buy the DVD and I keep it. Dave hates that I do that. I was going to say, are you going to stop doing that anytime soon? Why not? Dave hates that I do that, but I like it because I just like, it's like I, the same way I like buying books. I like having the physical hard copy. Why? I just do. Hmm. I just do. It makes me feel like I actually own it and versus like digital content, I don't feel like I own digital content. If I buy a CD through iTunes, I don't feel like I own it. So that's why I still buy CDs and DVDs. Cool. It's more ownership. You crazy. Yeah. Wanna wrap up there? Sure. Last oh, one. Okay. 900 people employed at corporate headquarters of Netflix. Do we know what corporate headquarters is? Because I know the, we know the warehouse is a secret, but mm. we know what corporate headquarters is. I feel like we should. Like, that shouldn't be a secret. Because you know where like the CIA office is and the FBI office, so I don't so. feel like that. Oh my! I don't Dave know. Broke his phone. No, I don't know. Okay. I sorry. Anyways, that wraps up today's random fact Monday. Oh Netflix. We're going to go watch a movie. We're gonna I'm go tired use it. Tired and not feeling peppy and yeah. So, anyways. So, after you watch this, you go watch some Netflix too. If you have Netflix. Yeah. Everybody has Netflix. Yeah, most people do, though. As we've seen. Well, no, not really, but... Yeah. What was it? 40 million. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Alrighty, we'll see you guys. Hope you have a great week ahead. Excuse my manners. <laughs> good night. Bye. Well, no, not good night. It's not night. It's it, night for it's us night right for now, us. so... We'll see you guys later, okay? When we Bye. <laughs>